unable to get out of bed, doubting hope for the future. That's the reality for millions who suffer from depression. Today, 10 News uh, reporter Jessica Chen discovered an innovative new treatment that's turning local patients' lives around. That's a whole other story. <laughs> Something as simple as this. Like, I was like the first one. Now. Eating outside, chatting with a friend, wasn't something Lori Campbell could have dreamed of just a few months ago. You reach a point where it's impossible to even function. This was her in the midst of her severe depression. She was battling it for more than 10 years. I'm still really tired. She says she wasn't in a good place. I couldn't really go outside. I'd rarely go to the store or the bank. She says she thought of committing suicide many times. If I hadn't had kids and a husband, I, I would have for sure. Because she tried everything. Eight or nine different medications, um, three different psychiatrists. I've had uh, two different therapists. And nothing really worked until she tried this. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, also known as TMS. It's FDA approved. It transmits magnetic signals directly to the brain through this helmet. Directly affecting or stimulating that part of the brain which is involved in the depression. Dr. Manish Sheth with Achieve TMS says the response rate is anywhere from 50 to 70 percent. And these are for people who have not responded to their medication trials. Lori says it's turned her life around. It's so hard to keep feeling that much pain every day and it just it won't go away. It was a treatment that gave her the hope she needed. It really is like it's, it's like getting a new lease on life. In La Jolla, Jessica Chent. Those are my benefits. 10 News. <laughs> The, Jessica says the treatment is covered by most insurance companies, but it is not for everyone. It's not recommended for people who have had steel implanted in their body or those who suffer from seizures. Doctors do hope the helmet could one day help with PTSD, OCD and Alzheimer's.